everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we're back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. This is called Knickerbocker Glory. Now, I had never heard of this before, but I guess this was actually something that did originate in the United States back in like the 1930s. Um, I guess it didn't take here and it went over to England. Very strange. I'm not really sure where the name comes from. Um, may have something to do with New York, may have something to do with something over in England. I don't know. But anyway, so this is actually part um, from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, uh, so this is something, uh, Dudley had one of these and he complained because it didn't have enough ice cream and Harry got the rest of it. So that's pretty cool. Good for Harry. Woohoo. Okay. So first of all, the first thing you're going to need to do is pick a flavor of Jello that you want. It says you can use any flavor that you want. Um, I did get the larger box of Jello instead of the smaller box and just made it up. Um, it needs to be prepared. You're gonna need two cups of whatever flavor you want. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need also is um, to make the custard, which is what we're gonna do right now. So what you're gonna need is a saucepan and you're gonna combine two tablespoons of sugar I can get my sugar open there. There we go. So one tablespoon and two tablespoons. Okay. Two tablespoons of sugar with um, some cornstarch, which you need three tablespoons of cornstarch. And then you're also gonna add to this a fourth a teaspoon of salt. One fourth a teaspoon of salt. Okay, all right, I make weird noises. Okay, all right, so here we go. So then um, you're just gonna kind of, we're just gonna stir this up a little bit. I'm just gonna use a spatula to make this. No big deal, stir that up. And it says to use a heavy bottomed saucepan. No, I don't know what that means, but okay. Just you guys, just a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. And then you're going to um, add to this some milk. You need one cup of whole milk. Okay, a cup of whole milk along with the heavy cream, which you need a half a cup of heavy cream. Half a cup. Beauties. And add that in. Okay, and you're gonna stir that in until the cornstarch dissolves. Now, it doesn't say to have the flame on yet, so we're not gonna put that on. Okay. How do you know if the cornstarch dissolves when it's white? So is milk. Mm. I don't know, we'll just stir it up for a little bit here, I guess. Oh, look at that, I'm gonna, weird. Thing going on. There we go. Okay. Some milk. All right. I'm not feeling it really catch on the. Well, maybe over here a little bit. Let's try getting it right there. Okay. There we go. All right. Then in a separate bowl, you're gonna take three um, egg yolks, which I already have in here, and you're just gonna whisk those up. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Forgot, gotta add two tablespoons of sugar to this. I guess we should do that first, huh? Whoops. Yes, so two tablespoons of sugar to the egg yolks. So one and two. There we go, now you whisk it up. Now we whisk it, whisk it. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna Cook the milk mixture now over a medium high heat. 
just until it starts to bubble and thicken. Okay. Ooh, splurged. All right, so I will get this bubbling and thickening and then we'll be back to do the rest. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so it is bubbling and it's thickened a little bit. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you have to temper your egg yolks. And basically what that means is you take a little bit from this and dump it in there and mix it up and then dump the whole thing back then. It's kind of bringing the egg yolks up to temperature. So um, you're just gonna put in, does it tell you how much? Um, yeah, so, and you also need to reduce your, your heat here to low. So we're gonna do that. Um, so reduce to low. Um, so you just put in about a half a cup. We're gonna do that. There we go. Okay. Whisk that in there. There we go. Should be bringing those up to temperature there. And then you're gonna pour these in here and whisk constantly, okay? Now, okay, so get that in there. Oops, kinda went off the side a little bit there. Okay, get that in there, whisk it up constantly. Now, turn the, you're gonna cook, stirring it constantly, but gently, um, and you can turn it back up to a medium high heat but constantly, but gently, um, just because I guess if you, um, if you don't handle it gently, it'll lose its thickening power. So we're gonna let it thicken, which it's already doing really well. Okay. So it doesn't take long to thicken up there. There we go, okay. We're gonna remove it from the heat now. And I'm going to keep stirring because I have learned that if you don't, a lot of times it'll burn. But we also need to add in some vanilla. And so you need about one teaspoon of vanilla to add into this, okay? I'm just going to kind of guesstimate the one teaspoon. That looks about right. Okay. Mm, smells good. Okay, now what you're going to do now is take this and you're going to put this into another bowl, but you need to strain it through a sieve first. And it does say that you may need like a rubbish spatula to push it through. So, excuse me if I'm making you dizzy here for a minute. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I already have it set up here in my sink, if you can see that. Here we go. Okay, so what you're going to do, get the this out of the way. I'm gonna put it in the sieve here and let's just see how she strains out. But of course she's not, so we're gonna have to do it here. Okay, and the reason why they have you strain in this is it gets rid of all the lumps and bumps, okay? So up there. All right, so we'll just push it through with a rubber spatula. Oh, it's going through, good. Okay, I should pick it up to you just so it's not making a big lump underneath it, so. Okay, so you're just gonna keep pushing it through and as you can see, we're getting some underneath here. Mash it through there, get it all done. Now, once you get this all strained, you're gonna put a piece of plastic wrap over it and make sure that it's touching the top so that you don't get like a skim you know, you don't want to skim to start forming over it. And then you're going to refrigerate this until it gets cool. And I'll check here in just a minute how long you refrigerate it for, or if it tells you. I don't think it tells you. I think it just says until it's cooled off. Okay, we've almost got this done. Doesn't take too long to strain it. I thought it would take longer. It really didn't. That's awesome. Okay, I think. That is it. Yep, looks good. Okay, pretty much empty. Got some stuff on the bottom here. We'll just scrape that off of there. Okay, and then one more time just to make sure. Okay. 
All right, there we go. All right, let's get some plastic wrap on this. And I will check the book here, see what it says. Yep, it says just to chill until set. So we'll go ahead and get the plastic wrap on and we'll get that in the fridge. All right, you guys, and we'll be back as soon as that's chilled up and we'll have to make the whip toppy. And then we'll put this all together and see how it tastes. All right, we'll be back. All right, you guys, so now our custard is cool off and set up. So now we're just gonna make the last thing, which is the whipped cream. Okay, so for this, you're gonna go ahead and put in one cup of heavy cream. You need three tablespoons of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, whichever one you wanna call it. So one. Two. And three. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and then you're gonna whip that up until you get some nice firm peaks. It says um, you should be able to basically um, lift the beaters up and flip the bowl over and it'll stay in there. I don't think I'm gonna do that because you know, I might like, I'll make a huge mess. So we'll go ahead and turn this on here. I decided not to get my mixer out because you know, mixers are huge. just use these little cups here that I have and for now I'm just gonna make how many people are here four because the hubby is not here let me go get some ice cream just a second of ice cream. I had this one already, so I'll just use that. Okay, so you're going to need, open this up first. Okay, so you're going to need a pint of ice cream, two cups of prepared jello, your whipped cream that we just made, our custard that we made, and then two cups of peeled and chopped fruit. Anything from peaches to berries to whatever. If it's blueberries, obviously you probably don't have to chop them, but this is strawberries. Strawberry jello, strawberries. Okay, so to assemble it, what you do is you divide a half of the pint of ice cream between six glasses, six Sunday glasses. So I only have four, we're just gonna kind of guess on how much we're gonna put in here. And I'll tell you guys what it says to do. So if you want to do it that way, you can. So you're going to take half a pint of ice cream and divide it between the six glasses. Now, half a pint is not very much ice cream. So we're just going to put a little bit at the bottom of each one. Okay. 
So we got the ice cream in there. A little bit more in this one. There we go. All right, then you're gonna need, okay, so ice cream first. Then you're gonna evenly divide up one cup of fruit into the glasses. Now, I am not making six, so I'm gonna do a little bit less than the one, or a little bit, yeah, a little bit less than the one cup because I'm not making six of them. So I don't wanna have, you know, too much fruit in there. So we'll put this in here. I am making four though, so we probably wanna put quite a bit of fruit in there. Well, these cups are not very big. All right. Good, good, okay. Then you're gonna put in um, one cup of jello and evenly divide it between the six. Okay. So I'm just going to grab some jello here. Mm, jello. Yes. Wiggle your way into my cup. Oh, sorry. All right. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, the jello is slippery. Does not want to go into the cup. Oops, someone on the counter. Okay, got some jello in. Then you're gonna do um, oh, and then one cup of custard divided between. Okay, so we need some custard. And like I said, I'm just guessing here. So as, as you can see, the custard is pretty, pretty set. It doesn't really wiggle around or anything now. Every time I think of custard though, I think of Culver's. Mm. Their frozen custard is delicious. Okay, get in there. There we go. Good, okay. Then you're going to repeat this again, correct? Yep, okay, so then you're gonna repeat it again. So a half a cup of, or a half a pint, I'm sorry, ice cream split up between your six cups, which I think I'm running out of room in my cups, so this is not good. Maybe I should have used bigger cups. Okay, half a pint of ice cream. And then what was next? It was the ice cream, then, oh, the fruit. Some fruit. It's definitely not going to fit right in here. We'll do the best we can. Some fruit. Good, okay. Then some jello. y'all you can't see it's getting yeah it's get, they're getting really full okay that in there and then last but not least is the custard again And then on top of this, um, you're going to top it with some whipped cream. And I forgot that. Okay, so you can put your whipped cream that you made on here. Get the jello bowl out of the way. Lovely, lovely. And then you can also put some chopped nuts on top of this, like peanuts. Um, they should be toasted nuts is what it says. Um, so you can put some nuts on top of it, which I think, let me see, I think I actually have some peanuts. Let me see here. Oh, 
I do. These are actually dry roasted, but that'll work. So you can put some peanuts on top. And then the very last thing, chocolate syrup. So you put that on top. Ooh, this is gonna make a mess because these cups are not big enough for all this. Perfect. All right, let's get a spoon and try one, you guys. So, for how good this looks, I can't believe America said, that's ours. I mean, come on. Why would we let Europe, why would we let England have this? Okay, so let's try it here. So we'll try to get as much of it in there, try to get all the layers. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep eating this. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's delicious, you guys. So I don't know why um, this wouldn't have made it very well in the United States. It's very good. It's simple to make. I mean, it takes a lot of steps to make it, but it's still simple to make. It's delicious. I wanna end this video so I can eat some more. All right. So you guys all have a nice day. I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe if you like, or don't, if you don't want to, whichever. Um, I am now also going to be trying to remember to put links in. So I'll put a link into the actual cookbook on Amazon where you can purchase it. And it is an affiliate link. So it would help me pay for some of the stuff that I have to buy to make all these recipes, which would be awesome. Thank you. Um, so if you want uh, to direct link to the cookbook, if you want to buy the cookbook yourself, you can just use that link. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Enjoy your cooking and we'll see you later. Bye.